I'm probably um, one of those people that is constantly trying to figure out how to do what I do better. My leadership style now has a lot more to do with the people that I surround myself with. I love this thing, so-and-so is a great motivator. Really, you can only motivate people that are self-motivated. There's a big difference between adjusting something and having to fix it because it's broken. This fear of doing what you think is right, and I think too many times people are afraid to make that call because of the criticism that they're going to get. There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of um, do's and don'ts. But the way we lead, I think, is we say, look, I'll trust you until you prove to me I, I can't, you can't be trusted. You know, you're like a general who's watching the battle, but you're not exactly there. That person out there on that battlefield has got to make that decision right now. He can't say, hey, hold it, stop shooting at me while I check with him. It doesn't work that way. Hey, should I? Hey, what do you think I should do here? You missed it. The opportunity is gone already. And a lot of coaches coach that way. And a lot of leaders lead that way. You want players who think for themselves and then worry about the consequences later. That's part of being the leader. You get all the credit when they work hard and you're gonna get all the blame when they don't. Like, I'm an idea guy. Like, I like to think of like, where do we wanna be five years from now? Like, where do we wanna be down the road? Yeah, you worked really hard to get here. Well, if everybody else stops working, you'll be fine. But if you're here and you wanna get there, you're not gonna get there by doing exactly what you just did. Just be great at what you're good at you know you're really good at something. Whatever that is, identify it, and then work your brains out to be great at it. 